Hope you're ready to fall in love. These beautiful historical figures are stunning. Number 12, Bonnie Parker. Our first beauty is most well known for her crimes, crimes she committed alongside her boyfriend, Clyde Barrow. Bonnie Parker, Clyde, and their gang traveled to and fro across the central United States between 1932 and 1934, robbing small stores, gas stations, and banks, and causing all kinds of other trouble. These two even became famous during their crime spree. They were young, brave, reckless, and beautiful, and they did what they wanted to do. Eventually, their luck ran out, and they ran across an ambush set by retired Texas Ranger Frank Hamer. But that's not what we're here for. We're here because Bonnie was beautiful, and Clyde wasn't too bad himself. And when they went down, they became some beautiful historical figures. Number 11, Harry Houdini. Did you know that one of the world's most famous illusionists and stunt performers probably would have been able to steal your girlfriend without even using a trick? Harry Houdini performed mainly in America, but he started his life in Hungary as Eric Weiss in 1874. He performed all kinds of escapes, including his famous milk can escape, while suspended from cranes and buildings in straitjackets. And he was buried alive once. But he didn't just gain attention because of his incredible acts. Although they mostly stole the show, he was also quite the looker. And that, paired with his incredible grace and agility, made him a star. Number 10, Nellie Bly. If you haven't heard of this woman, get ready to meet somebody pretty cool. Elizabeth Cochran Seaman, who wrote under the pen name Nellie Bly, was a journalist, inventor, and writer who did some pretty cool things throughout her career. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, she changed investigative journalism. She once spent 10 days undercover as a patient in a mental institution and then wrote an expose on her firsthand experiences. Nellie Bly's most memorable moment came when her editor suggested she emulate Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Days. She did, and circumnavigated the earth in just 72, setting a world record that stood for just a few months. She was cool, she was accomplished, she was gorgeous. Nellie Bly, or Elizabeth Cochran Seaman, would have been quite the catch had she stood still long enough for one to catch her. Number nine, Tenzing Norgay. Many people would be confused and have no idea who Tenzing Norgay is. Well, he was named one of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century, so you know he's important. Tenzing is often called Sherpa Tenzing as he was a Sherpa mountaineer, and his most significant accomplishment came as being one of the first two people to ever summit Mount Everest. Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary accomplished the feat at 11.30 a.m. on May 28, 1953. You know what else? He was a really good-looking guy with a winning smile. At least, that's what one of the leaders of a reconnaissance expedition on Everest thought. Eric Shipton, the leader of that expedition, took on Tenzing Norgay after two of the expedition's previous members failed their medical exams, and he liked the look of Tenzing's winning smile. Number 8, Mark Twain. One of America's greatest writers, Samuel Clemens, who wrote under the pen name Mark Twain, was pretty good looking back in the day. Clemens wrote incredible classics like The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Unforgettable and Unbeatable Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Twain was called many things in his day, such as The Father of American Literature by William Faulkner and The Greatest Humorist This Country Has Produced. A guy so accomplished shouldn't also be blessed with good looks, should he? Is that even fair? Someone saw it that way and blessed Clemens with attractiveness. You've got to admit, he even looked pretty good after growing that wild mustache. Number seven, Charlotte Bronte. Have you ever heard of the Bronte sisters? Three sisters of the Bronte family all wrote and managed to publish novels that would become classic literature. Charlotte was the eldest of the three and for a time, at 14, she went to school for a year, then left to teach what she'd learned to her sisters. They tried to do many things to survive and had many failures. That's when they found writing, and their luck began to change. They created the pen names Acton, Currer, and Ellis Bell, and began writing with the intent to publish. Charlotte first wrote a novel called The Professor, but it was rejected by every publisher she took it to. Then she wrote Jane Eyre and hit the jackpot. A year later, the sisters admitted they were the Bells, and they were highly celebrated in the literary circles of London. Guess what? Charlotte was a rare beauty. 
Not to say that the other sisters weren't attractive, but they were no Charlotte. Number six, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was all sorts of things, like an electrical and mechanical engineer, an inventor, a futurist, and a breathtaker. The Serbian-American stud gave us the AC, or alternating current electricity supply system, one of the first ever remote control boats, and who could forget the Tesla coil? He came over to the United States after receiving his engineering education in Serbia, worked at Thomas Edison's Edison Machine Works, then struck out to change the world by himself. He didn't fare so well in the end, but in his prime, he was a guy with much potential because of his good looks, but he chose not to use them, ever. Nikola Tesla lived his entire life without ever marrying, and he didn't believe in romantic intimacy before marriage. Unusual for a pretty good-looking guy. Number five, Johannes Brahms. Johannes Brahms lived in the mid to late 1800s and did much of his work during the Romantic period. He was a pianist, conductor, and composer and lived in Vienna for most of his life. He composed all different kinds of works and even played piano in many of them as he was a virtuoso pianist and loved to be involved. He was a very accomplished musician and wrote many tunes you would probably recognize if you heard them. He is often listed among the ranks of greats such as Ludwig von Beethoven and Johann Sebastian Bach, and he deserves it. Now, did you know that Mr. Brahms was actually a pretty good-looking guy when he was a bit younger? And, to be honest, he didn't look too bad with a beard either. He deserves a spot on this list. Number four, Lewis Thornton Powell. Lewis Powell is famous for a pretty unsavory reason. He was tied up in with John Wilkes Booth and was tried and convicted as a co-conspirator in the Abraham Lincoln assassination. He was a former Confederate soldier who had a job to do the night of the assassination and he sure tried to do it, but he still ended up failing. He was to go to the home of the then Secretary of State William H. Seward and take him out. Powell went to the house, entered, and did what he thought he had to do, but Seward made it through. Of course, Powell fled and ended up making a major mistake by showing up where he was staying with some other co-conspirators. Police were searching it when he showed up on the doorstep. Powell then tried to lie about why he was there, aroused too many suspicions, and was subsequently arrested. Well, he was a good-looking kid who probably could have gone far in life had he not gotten tied up in a failed assassination plot. Number three, Hermann Rorschach. Do you know that test where you stare at ink blots and tell a therapist what they look like to you? The Rorschach test? Well, Hermann Rorschach, a genius Swiss psychologist and psychoanalyst, created it when he laid down the basis of it in his book Psychodiagnostique in 1921. It's still used today, although it's now partially viewed as a controversial pseudoscience to help measure various parts of people's personalities and identify different neurological or psychotic disorders. But he wasn't just a hardworking, truly caring psychologist. Oh no, he was also a stunningly handsome man, and for that, he deserves a little bit of recognition as well. He had great hair, a great mustache, and he was smart. What a catch. Number two, Barbara Lamar. This young lady was an actress and screenwriter in the early to mid-1920s until her hard partying lifestyle caught up with her. She had a few writing credits in 1920, but Lamar got her big break in the 1921 film The Nut when she was already 24 years old. She also starred in The Three Musketeers in 1921, as well as two other films, and then another 23 films between 1922 and 1926. She drank, partied hard, and told the media that she slept just two hours a night. She became the preeminent femme fatale of the decade. Lamar was also noted for how stunning she was and ended up tagged girl who is too beautiful. She was a jaw dropper, a show stopper, a beauty who lived fast and passed young at just 29 years old of nephritis and pulmonary tuberculosis. There sure are some real beauties from the past and we've got one more, but first, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe and sound off. What historical figure has surprised you with their incredible good looks? Shout out in the comments below. Number one, Charlie Chaplin. 
This comedic actor, composer, and filmmaker was a hit during the days of silent film. Chaplin became known around the world after the release of The Tramp, a silent film that Charlie himself wrote, directed, and starred in. He is a god in the film world, as his contributions know no end, and he earned it after working for more than 75 years. It may be evident that Charlie Chaplin was a good-looking guy under that silly toothbrush mustache. He actually did other films without it, but it is his most iconic look. When it came down to it, the man himself, Sir Charles Spencer Charlie Chaplin, was one gorgeous dude, and it's time that everybody knew it.